Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Corutech. So we decided to add support for our old device POCO X2. OEM software update support for this device has been stopped as similar like OnePlus 6 after Android 11 MIUI 12.5 update. So we will try to give new life to this device. Our ultimate aim is to provide you all full review of each and every custom ROM with their updates and new mods to keep alive your device. So today we will do our first try by flashing and reviewing the official Evolution X Android 13 latest build release on the 5th May 2023. Hope you guys already knows and done the bootloader unlocking and TWRP installation process on your POCO X2. If you still didn't done this, do request under the comment section so we will release another video for that. Download the full ROM zip file given under the video description, boot your phone into the TWRP. Now tap install and flash the ROM zip file, once done tap wipe, then select format data, then type yes and enter, once done reboot to system. Today in this video we will thoroughly taste the ROM, we will check its about phone details, we will test what's working to confirm is it daily driver build or not, we will do full performance and UI bench jitter test in comparison with the stock Mi UI. Finally, I did overview of all features. At last, I shown the bugs and the issues in the ROM. So watch the video till the end. Now with the further ado, let's get started. So phone booted to the Evolution X boot animation. We need to do clean flash for first time flashing so we go on through first time setup. ROM didn't have the pixel launcher developer shifted to the Evolution X launcher from last few builds. Now let's jump to the about phone. Let's check out does this ROM have all the latest sources or not. At the top of the setting we'll find the big Evolution X logo. Under that we'll find this is the Android 13 baser build with the same material clock history. This Evolution X version is 7.9 kare kare with their own easter egg. Security patch is of latest 5th May 2023. Kernel version is Red Cliff 4.14.274 build date with the Proton Clang Toolchain 13. ROM is build date on the 3rd May 2023. Kernel is enforcing. So basically ROM is based on the all the latest sources. Stock ROM were too old and by means of such third party software we can keep our device up to date. Now let's move to our first timestamp of the video what's working to confirm all the important features are available or not. Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot are working. They are connecting with the networks with the good stability. Bluetooth is working. I tested it with my s -Pass Crystal TWS earbuds and they are working perfectly with all HD audio codecs like AAC, SBC, APTX, LDAX like codecs. GPS is also working fine. ROM supports VOLT and Wi-Fi calling for all network carriers. Incoming and outgoing calls are working without any voice issues. Who gets call recording feature in a dialer and who gets the recorded calls under the call lock section. Auto brightness is working fine with the accurate lux values. Power button mounted fingerprint of this device is working fine. Who gets the nice ripple unlock animation with this pixel based ROM. Who gets the face unlock too and is working blazing fast with the good accuracy. As this device comes with the infrared blaster, I tested that too and it's working fine. This device has the front dual camera notch and it's well adjusted with the notification in the firmware without any issues. Surprisingly, ROM enables the LED notification indicator which is situated at the ear speaker grill. This feature was not working for me UI ROMs. ROM comes with the FM radio and it's also working too. Next I did all the major sensor tests like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, these all sensors are working fine. Some of other important things like the ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, loudspeaker, camera flashlight, screen multi-touch are working absolutely fine. Display is fully working without any dead pixels. So we tested all the major functions but one thing left is camera. ROM didn't come with the stock camera but you can add it using the ANX camera that I will show in another video. But for now ROM has a simple camera go application which has very few features like portrait mode for the camera, video mode and camera translate feature. It's pretty basic application so I installed Google Gcam MGC build that I use in most of custom ROMs. 
it has night mode and it's working portrait mode for the both the front selfie and main camera are working all ultra wide camera angle modes are working for camera it has hdr plus mode and some other tunables like the frame control video recording is working but it has only 4k and 180p 30fps recording feature no 4k 60fps is working no slow motion recording option available time lapse causing the force close of application wide angle camera modes are not working in the video recording other features like the panorama mode is working but photo sphere mode causing force close of camera application now let's check out the most important part that is safety net when i tested the safety net using the asnax safety net application it successfully got passed so we can use any banking or security applications without any issues in the rom Another great news is that DRM info showing security level as L1 so can stream Netflix and Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. ROM store is encrypted so no worry about the personal data if your pin locked device got stolen or misplaced no one can decrypt your device. So we did complete testing of working features and I can say this is fully working ROM. Now let's move to the another time stamp of the video that is performance. In this first we will do the jitter test less the jitter value better will be the scrolling and in app user experience you will get the jitter test option under the miscellaneous setting of the ui or tab or you can install and use the ui bench application for jitter testing if you open this application tap on the rendering option there tab jitter at the top we get the jitter value and at the bottom we get the blue line graph for the jitter value most of the time jitter value remain below 0.5 millisecond Blue line graph also remain flat most of the time but as soon as I tried to use some application simultaneously when jitter test was going in the background jitter values go up rise to the maximum values you can check yourself here this sudden rise of blue line in the graph so you can say that though the overall rom performance for jitter value is good but it's not consistent you may feel slight jitter while using some application and their visibility confirm Now let's check out the Geekbench 6 test. Initial impression of ROM is very good. All the activities like the apps opening, closing, switching between applications, RAM management seems very good. I can say as compared to the MIUI 12.1 ROM, this will give you the 100 times better user experience. Under display setting, who gets the maximum and minimum refresh rate setting? If you force enable the 120 Hz refresh rate, ROM will constantly run in 120 Hz rate. but only some applications like the camera and some video playback in the youtube videos will reduce the screen fps to the 60 hertz now let's run the geekbench 6 test here i got a score of 705 and 1707 for single and multi core how this some stock miui rom results to compare as you can check on the screen which were lower than this custom rom so i can definitely say this rom is utilizing full cpu capabilities to deliver the best performance of your device Next I did the GP performance test on the OpenGL and the Vulkan graphics API. Here I got a score of 945 and 895 respectively. So final conclusion of this testing is that custom ROM definitely improving the device performance to the next level as compared to the stock ROMs and especially when they are outdated after OEM stopping the software support for these devices. Now let's discuss about the features that this ROM offers. This is the Pixel Firmware Base ROM so we get the unlimited photo backup working in the Google Photos application. We get lots of amazing features and the customization under the Evolve tab of the setting. I will not waste the time to show you them here again because I already created the review of Evolution X on my another device. You can watch that video as a reference. Its link is given under the video description. but some of them are advanced gaming mode unlock higher fps in the game setting wake lock and alarm blocker to improve the battery life of your device to the next level we also get the live display setting to tune the display color under the display option of the setting there is a display color option control is available to improve the display color accuracy Screen refresh rate control is available full screen application gesture control these are some of the settings are available in the rom so we discussed all the things were different time stamps of the video now it's time to show you the last and most important time stamp of the video that is bugs in the rom and my final verdict 
always on display is not working at all i tried to enable that using the ambient display setting available under the ulu tab of the phone i also tried always show time option available under the display and lock screen setting of the phone none of these options are worked like hand wave pick up mode nothing instead of this bug we well, already seen some third party camera application bugs like no wide angle camera mode for the video shooting no 4k 60 fps no photosphere mode etc under the notification option of ulu tab you get the edge lightning option to display notification indication but it's not working at all these are some of small bugs are present but no any major deal breaking issue you will find here you can use this rom as daily driver without any doubt i will create the next video how you can use mi ui anx camera application in this custom rom this is our first try for reviewing the custom roms for the poco x2 and if you guess the good response we will definitely release lots of content like this so please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye